Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with pseudo exfoliation. We can see the pseudo exfoliation material on the peripheral part of the anterior capsule. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us observe the surgical steps. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. And now, this is 2% SPMC, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. SPMC is applied over the cornea and it gives better visibility. And now, this is a side port on the right side of the main incision. And this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. And now, capsulorexis. The anterior capsule is being incised and the capsular tag is raised. And now, I take a uterator forceps, hold this capsular tag, go anticlockwise, and do the rexis. In this case, at 3 o'clock, the capsule tended to go to periphery. I apply this smart pull and retrieve the rexus. And now, hydro dissection and nuclear rotation. In this case, since the patient has pseudo exfoliation, I am very careful to rotate the nucleus. Here I am injecting fluid at multiple points so that the nucleus becomes free from the capsule. After doing after injecting fluid at multiple points I just tap the nucleus but I don't rotate it just pushing it as we do in other cases. So instead what I do is inject some visco and take two hooks and this is bimanual rotation of the nucleus. If we rotate it bimanually we don't cause unnecessary stress on the posterior capsule which is transmitted to the ingenule. Now the nucleus is free from the capsule and here it is. The tip of the phaco needle is being introduced into the anterior chamber. And on the left hand is a Sinsky-like small chopper designed by me. Uh, here it is. I remove some superficial cortical matter but in this case since the nucleus is quite hard I could not remove much of lens matter. And this is what I call submarine chop. The tip is buried completely into the substance of the nucleus it travels through the nucleus like a submarine and the nucleus is chopped like this. And this hemineucleus is again chopped into two large fragments. The nucleus is rotated and this is another fragment. And this is on more and this is one more job. So we have got six fragments and now each nuclear fragment is tilted and emulsification of each nuclear fragment is started from its apex. It is tilted like this and 
the idea is the sharp apex should not hit the posterior capsule. If the equatorial part presses the posterior capsule, it presses, it sits over a large area, but if the apex hits the posterior capsule, then the pressure is applied on a point. And now at this time you can notice that the pupil has started becoming small. So all these challenges we get in case of pseudoexfoliation. Small pupil and weak jonule and in this case the nucleus is quite hard so all together all challenges together can be there now in this case you can see that there is the posterior capsule is not covered by any epinuclear sheet so to protect the posterior capsule in this case I'm going to take an instrument which I call posterior capsule protected. This instrument has been devised by me. It's a thick instrument, goes to the side port of about 1.5 millimeter and over this posterior capsule protector the space is emulsified. Yes. So emulsification of the pieces has been done. And now we have to clean the cortical matter which is right now covered by the iris. Here it is. You can see this lot of cortical matter is there, but it was covered by the iris. This is a 23 gauze Simco cannula, and this is the soft incisional cortex. And now this is visco and this is a monofocal single piece intraocular lens and the lens is implanted in the capsular bag yes so the lens is placed in the capsular bag. The haptics are about 90 degree away from the main incision. And now the visco that is there in the anterior chamber and the capsular bag is nicely removed by bimanual irrigation aspiration. Initially I used the Simco which has been edited out and now this is moxifloxacin the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration It is done and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber.
at this time any visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills so you have noticed bimanual rotation of the nucleus to cause less stress on the jonule in this case.